What's up you guys, welcome to Cliff Talks Money. So today I'm gonna to give you my theory on goal setting and then help you download that as like a mental toolkit that you can take with you for the rest of your life. So the thing about goal setting is that it's not so much about intelligence, it's more about emotions, emotional intelligence, and they call it EQ instead of IQ. It's like um, energy, how to build energy, how to manage energy and focus it. So number one for you, any goal you're thinking about is you have to set it, you have to write it down. It has to be on paper, I had, you know, posted on your wall. I got goals written all over my walls, in my car, in my wallet, in my notebook, in my phone, everywhere. So I don't want to, I don't want them to slip out of my mind and I fall back into apathy and boredom, just time killing on social media. Instead of consuming social media, you want to be producing it or consuming other people's content, even listening to music. Rihanna has a song where she talked about where it took her three weeks to produce it. So a 100 hours of hard work condensed all the way down into two minutes and when you hear that song you're like whoo it's a great song it just feels so good you love it it just feels good right well you're consuming 100 hours of hard work super condensed in just two minutes so when you set goals you got to think of how to get a lot of production condensed into a product that somebody wants and wants to pay for so number one set that goal set it and put it out there so you can't forget it put it all around you I don't care what you got. You get a tattoo of it, whatever you got to do. Keep it in the forefront of your mind. So when you're setting that goal, number two, now you need a path. You need a path up that mountain of life, up that goal. So you can drift through life and just maintain. But if you want to set a goal, I don't care if you want to lose weight, get rich. You have to you have to set a path to take you up that mountain. And the as you go up that mountain, you're going to get positive emotions because you're going to start to see some progress that's how you build your self-esteem when you get a tiniest bit of success you can hang on to it and hold it and then you can massage it and grow it and, and start to build it it's almost like a snowball that goes up the hill and send it down the hill but the thing is is that you have to make some sacrifices so they don't have to be big but the bigger sacrifice of time the bigger results going to be so if you don't want to get stuck in that that little hill of negative emotion that you're falling down, so you're doing a million other things. You're going to bars, going drinking, going camping, you're hanging out with friends, getting high, no matter what it is. You're going to, you're taking dance lessons. It doesn't matter what it is. You have to sacrifice some time because it's, it's always going to be this or that. So if your goal is to be the best dancer in the world, then set up more dance lessons, but you got to cut out other things. So social media, scrolling, watching sports no matter what your thing is you got to make a list of what you do and versus what you want and start crossing off and adding that time make a time bridge you want to bridge that how you spend now versus how you're going to start spending it and so be ready to sacrifice but don't look at it as a sacrifice look at it as something an opportunity to be a better you so the better the goal the more energy you're going to get now, I always say this, I always talk about this, setting big, massive goals just for the energy it's going to generate. you got to think about climbing up a mountain with a 1,000-pound backpack in a windstorm, like 50-kilometer-hour winds in your face. Your whole team, all your friends and family, you're dragging them up that mountain. You're going to be able to climb and fight through the cold, the bitter wind, in the dark, in the middle of the night. The bigger the goal, the more it's going to seem likely. If you just set a small goal to make 50000 a year, what happens if you achieve that? That's terrible. That's that's just average. And I assume if you're watching this, you want more than average. So if you set a you know a one billion dollar goal, and if you you give up when you hit one million, then that's good. You can be happy with that. But if you don't have a big goal, you'll you'll never generate the energy. Now this is so much about energy. This is a confidence game. You got to build yourself up until you're invincible. And your personality is unstoppable. It's unbeatable. Now, there's a book I read called Rhinoceros Success. You don't even need to read it. You just need to think about it. Think about the title, just Rhinoceros Success. You need to become so hard charging like a rhinoceros. They just go one direction forward with a lot of momentum. You know, five tons of weight, you know, 30 kilometers an hour. That's momentum. That's that's needs to be you. You got to build yourself until you're invincible. And, and this is how you do it. Uh, the new goal is going to take new skills. This is the biggest problem right here, fear. It's a two-part problem. Apathy, kind of, I don't know what to do, and then I don't know how to do it. So if you want to be successful, financially rich, you need to, number one, start a business. There, now. Number two, 
how do you start a business? We go down to City Hall, you incorporate a company, you get a tax ID number. Now you can buy stuff wholesale. And now, you know, wholesalers will sell to you. You can buy products from Alibaba. You can do whatever you want. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the problem. Okay. What do you do and how do you do it? Okay. So now, now go do it. Well, okay. Everything's going good. I'm going to start my business today, 10 o'clock in the morning. Ah, I run into fear, the terror barrier. You kind of, I'm going to, I'm going to break up with this person who's making me miserable, but you run it, you bounce off the terror barrier. Oh man, I just don't know. I'm scared. So the only way to do it is to break it down into small pieces, small bite-sized pieces. That's it. Because as you go after anything in your life, you will never become less afraid. The anxiety and fear will never go away. You just become more brave. And you, you're able to blast through things that used to scare you. You often hear people talk about that you, you just, courage is not the absence of fear. It's just the ability to go through it. That's really true. So if you're trying to meet the woman in your dreams, you're still going to be nervous when you go to talk to her. You, this is how you get through it, the little steps. Just practice saying hi to her, just smiling, winking, just buying a drink, talk, just walking by and waving. You slowly, slowly move up that mountain. Small bite-sized pieces at a time are going to give you that new success. So as you try something new and you get a little glimpse of success, whether it's starting business, meeting that person, losing the weight, it changes your DNA. It changes how your gen genes are expressed. And genetic expression is really popular these days. And this is why. Because you wire a new synaptic connection in your brain when you try something new. So if you're used to avoiding your problems or the woman, you fire these thoughts in your mind and they produce the chemicals. And then you, you just get easier and easier. And that's why people get stuck in a rut. So you get stuck in this uh, over the hill, right? Uh, just whatever. So every time you try a little something, and you get a little success, you'll fall back, and then you go on this up and up and up and up. So you'll you'll see things online where people talk about the path and entrepreneurship is like that, instead of just a straight line. That is that's not just for entrepreneurship; that's for everything. So this this is it. When you want to try something new, break it down in the smallest bite sized piece you can even think of. Just one push up a day. Just anything you can think of and i promise you'll get there i'm excited for you just like i was for me so guys if you found value in this video please share with someone you care about check my other videos on goal setting and psychology of success subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you guys soon that's all i got for today thanks bye for now